Hello and welcome to the Widow's Oil. Today I want to speak about denominations and what scripture has to say about it. Paul speaks actually about denominationalism, but people don't see it that way. But let us read the scripture and see what we can glean. I read from 1 Corinthians 1, verse 10 to 13. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that the, you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been declared to me concerning you, my brethren, by those of Chloe's household, that there are contentions among you. Now, I say this, that each of you says, I am of Paul, or I am of Apollos, or I am of Cephas, or I am of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Then in 1 Corinthians 3, Paul goes on to say the following. He says, And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to carnal, as to babes in Christ. I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it, and even now you are still not able, for you are still carnal. For where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? For when one says, I'm of Paul, and another, I'm of Apollos, are you not carnal? And so because of carnality, people often when they read this, they think it has to do with something outside of ourselves. They do not realize that I could have just as well read here, yeah, I'm a Baptist, I'm a Methodist, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Protestant, all different labels we put on ourselves now. Paul said there should not be divisions among them. And the very fact that there are denominations show us the church is carnal and immature. He has to feed them with milk and they are not able to receive the solid food. This means they cannot move on to maturity. If they are not able to receive the meat of the word, if we are on the milk, then we will not become mature. Paul says, however, we speak wisdom among those who are mature. But the church is not even on the milk doctrines. They do not even have the milk doctrines right because they are stumbling even over the basic milk doctrines, the ones that have to do with faith and repentance from dead works. Have you ever, like me, thought how much the word denomination and the word denominator are the same. A denominator is the number below the line in a fraction. It is a divisor. Divisor means to divide. A religious denomination is a subgroup within a religion that operates under a common name and tradition. Yeah, you can see how the Christian church is like a pie that is divided up. And look here at the word denomination, what it means. It means a branch of the Christian church. It can mean a banknote and a name. Now it's fine if the church has different branches. The Lord said, I'm the vine, you are the branches. But the problem is, there is all this fighting. And rather than learning from each other, they are divided. And they are not in one faith and in maturity. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Ephesians 4, 
verse 4 to 5, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 16. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children, tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love, may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love.